Signing up for an E-Rank account can be overwhelming for new Etsy business owners due to the insane number of tools and resources that you'll suddenly gain access to. So if you're wondering where to start, how to make the most of your account, and what tools you should use for most of your growth on Etsy, you're in the right place. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Elf Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And as an eRank manager, one of my jobs is to help make eRank easier for our users, which will be the first to admit it's a work in progress. Over the years, Anthony Wolf, our CEO, has added a ton of amazing tools to help sellers, with new tools being developed every day by our team. But with more tools comes more confusion. So today I'm going to cover a few basics, including how to read the data displayed on your dashboard and how to use eRank for SEO and keyword optimization. Just keep in mind that we have a lot of different tools. So covering all of the tools in a single video would be impossible. In today's video, we're just going to be focusing on your dashboard and the most important tool for your business, the eRank keyword tool. And just a heads up, this video is not a full SEO tutorial. If you need help with Etsy SEO and the exact steps to keyword optimize your listing titles and tags, be sure to get my free Etsy SEO toolbox up here, which includes a mini course, 30 day free trial of eRank Pro and step-by-step -step tutorials. Okay, enough disclaimers, let's jump in. So right now I'm using my eRank expert plan, but there are actually four different eRank plans to choose from. The free plan is great for beginners and it'll give you a taste of how some of our most popular tools work. The $5.99 basic plan will be enough for most active sellers, and you'll have access to most E-Rank features. Your quotas for our research tools will just be a bit lower than the pro plan. And our expert plan is really just that. It's for massive sellers who manage a lot of shops or who do VA work for others and need massive research quotas. Let's go ahead and dive into your dashboard, which may look a little different depending on which plan you're using. Think of your dashboard as your central hub where you can get information about Etsy, E-Rank, and your shop almost like a big bulletin board. As long as you've connected your shop to eRank, I always recommend clicking this green button up here each time that you've logged in to ensure that we've collected the most recent stats from your shop to display. If you skip this step, we'll usually put a pop-up right on your screen to remind you. So don't panic if you're worried that you might forget. The right side of your dashboard is reserved for news and helpful information, including trending keywords based on your specific Etsy category, new E-Rank blog posts, any upcoming holidays, quick access to audit listing, the top trending keywords on Etsy, and Etsy's relative popularity over the last five weeks. The left side of your dashboard contains stats specific to your shop. This includes things like your number of sales and your sales rank, your number of listings currently for sale, the number of your listings E-Rank found among the first 100 listings for a specific keyword, the total inventory value of your shop, any missing assets or spelling mistakes that we've detected in your listings, and my favorite, your personal sales ranking when compared to all other sellers on Etsy. Your sales comparison table will display any competitors that you're tracking alongside their sales numbers. Head over to the competition tab in the left navigation to track other shops in order to see these numbers. The next section is titled top keywords, and this section will only be visible to those who have connected Google Analytics to their Etsy shop, then connected their Google Analytics to eRank. You can do this by clicking the Shop Insights tab in the left navigation, then clicking Traffic Stats. Your top keyword section will display the terms that actual shoppers have used in order to find your listings, which is super helpful when it comes to narrowing down which keywords are actually working for your shop. Country stats will show you which country your shop is most popular in, and traffic sources will display which websites your traffic is primarily coming from. Next on our dashboard, we have Spotted on Etsy again. We talked about this a few minutes ago, but basically this tool is showing us listings from your shop that appear in the first 100 results of a search query. As long as you're using good keywords in your listings, seeing one of your listings here is a good sign that the product is well optimized. 
Just keep in mind that this tool is not telling you that the keywords that you're being found for are good. For example, if I put the word floop dee doop dee dee da in my listings, I would of course be spotted on Etsy for the term floop dee doop dee dee da because I'm the only person using that keyword. But if I was spotted for the term blanket, for example, we know that blankets are popular on Etsy. So being spotted for the term blanket is a major accomplishment. Next, we have the listing change tracker, which shows listings that you've chosen to track the views, favorites, and sales of. To track a listing, click the listing optimization tab in the left navigation, then click changes. From here, you'll see all of your listings that are currently for sale. Click the track changes button beside any listing you'd like to track, and eRank will take a daily snapshot of that listing. This is extremely helpful when you make changes to your listings, tags, and titles, because the tool allows you to see exactly how those changes affected your views, favorites, and sales. Next on your dashboard, we have your list of what we call your superstar keywords, or the keywords that you're using that are most popular in your store. And lastly, the most sales on Etsy table is pretty fun because it shows the top five biggest Etsy sellers in the world and the number of sales that they made yesterday. Oh, and one last bonus tip. If you're ever confused about any of the features that you see on eRank, be sure to hover over these little purple question marks, which will explain what some of these stats mean. You can also click on the green circle in the bottom right corner of the screen to open our help center, where you can send questions to our team, explore our recommended task list, and find articles that will help to answer some of the most common questions we hear at eRank. Next, let's move on to the bread and butter of eRank, the keyword research. By far, the most important tool to help with the success of your Etsy shop is the keyword tool. And there are several different ways to access this tool. You can click the white keyword tool button at the top of your dashboard. You can click the keyword research menu from your left navigation, then click keyword tool, or you can enter a short keyword phrase right into the search bar right at the top of the screen. Ultimately, all three will take you to the same place. Once we've arrived on the keyword tool, we want to start by selecting a broad phrase that loosely describes your item. If you're selling a beige wool chunky knit blanket, start with the term blanket because the keyword tool will give you more specific suggestions based on your query. From here, the keyword tool will display three important tables. First, we'll show you the average number of searches your keyword has received on Etsy so that you can get an idea of how popular this product is. Then the average clicks listings that utilize that keyword typically receive. The click-through rate, which is basically the ratio of people who search for the term then click a listing that uses the term. Both of these metrics can help you to determine how willing shoppers are to actually check out listings that use this keyword. Then we show you the competition for that keyword based on the number of other sellers who also use the term in their listings. For me personally though, the most exciting piece of data on this page is the search trend graph, which can show us when this type of item is most popular on Etsy. For example, the term blanket stays pretty popular throughout the year, but blankets are most searched in December. This tells me that the best time to list a blanket on Etsy is right around June, right before popularity starts to climb. And from this pie chart, you can see where in the world most of the searches for this term are coming from. Now, since a majority of Etsy shoppers are located in the US, the US will almost always take up a majority of the pie chart. The most important set of data on this page is down here though, the keyword ideas list. Remember when I said that we're selling a beige chunky knit blanket? And remember that I also started our search with just the word blanket because I said the keyword tool will give us additional ideas related to our term? From this list, eRank will show us a huge list of suggestions as well as their search volumes, clicks, click-through rate, competition, and even the search trend graph to help you quickly identify what time of year this specific item is the most popular. You'll also notice these little gray stars on the left side of each word. By clicking this star, you can save the word to a keyword list, where you can go back and view the term again and again without having to manually search for it. Since eRank gets new keyword data every single month, this is a great way to keep an eye on trends to ensure that the keywords that you're using in your listings are still being searched for month over month. To create a new list, click on this green button at the bottom of your screen. Then click New List. Give your list a name, then begin adding keywords to your list that you'd like to keep an eye on. To access the list of words that you've saved and view their search stats, you can click the orange View List button from your Keyword Lists box. 
or click the Keyword Research tab, then select Keyword Lists from the menu. From here, select the list that you'd like to view, and you'll be able to return to all of your favorite keywords from one page, which is great for comparing them side by side and ultimately deciding which terms that you'd like to use for your listings. You also have the option to add personal notes to each keyword, as well as add a color flag. These are personal identifiers that you can use for whatever you'd like. I personally like to add little green flags next to keywords that I'm using in my listings, red flags to keywords I'm unsure of, and purple flags to keywords I'd like to experiment with in the future. Think of color flags like highlighters on paper. How you choose to use them is totally up to you. Returning to our keyword tool page, you also have the option to toggle between several different menus. The Near Matches tab will show terms closely related to your initial query. The SERP Analysis tab will display a brief analysis of the top 100 Etsy listings that use this keyword, as well as the average price of this type of item, the average number of hearts or favorites these types of items receive, total views of listings that use this keyword, average views for singular listings that use this keyword, average daily views for listings that use this keyword, and average weekly views for listings that use this keyword. You can also see additional popular tags used by listings that utilize this keyword, with the largest words being the most popular. To see the specific stats for any of these terms, just click the word and it'll open a new keyword tool page with the specific details for this term. You can also view the most popular categories that products listed using this keyword are placed in by sellers, common price points for this type of item, and the average processing time for this type of item. Lastly, the top listings tab will display the stats of listings that are currently ranking at the top of search pages for the term that you've searched. You can even save their tags directly into your own keyword list by clicking the star icon next to any term. Etsy SEO is one of the most difficult but necessary aspects of running a successful shop. And obviously I have a ton of SEO videos here on my channel, but for those who are absolute Etsy SEO newbies, I actually just released two free eBooks that outline a foolproof strategy to help you understand Etsy SEO. There's even a workbook of different checklists and exercises to help Help you build better SEO habits, which I'll have linked right here, somewhere, and down in the video description below. Until next time, Pookie.